My number, 1-800-375-2872. Mom and Jonathan, welcome to the program. Hello. Hi, Dr. Laura. Hi, Jonathan. How old are you? 13. What can I help you with? So, I've been having a problem with lying to my mom. Only to your mom? And my dad. Oh, okay. Give me three good reasons to lie. Good reasons. Um, I can't think of any. Yeah, you can. There, come on. You, you're not going to be honest with me. You just lied to me. <laughs> um, let me think. Maybe because to try to keep me out of trouble, but it never right. works. Well, it works for the absolute moment, maybe, and sometimes it has worked. Okay, number two. I like that. That's a good one. Keep your butt out of trouble. Um, number two. To try to please my, my mom and my dad? Yeah, that's a good one. Tell them what they want to hear. Yeah. I like it. I like it. You're smart. Okay, one more. Um, maybe to... Uh, take your uh, time. I, I can't think of any more. Yeah, just take your time. Think of some okay. of the times you lied and what was behind it. Sometimes it was to get your butt out of trouble. Sometimes it was just to make them happy, tell them what they want to hear. Maybe to help my stance and like my position where I'm at. That's a good one. Yeah. Give me give me an example of that kind of lie. That's intriguing. I'm not sure if I've lied about any times like that stuff, like to help my stance. Uh, um, I'm not sure about that one. You mean the lies so that you'll look better? Yeah. Got it. Okay. These are darn good reasons to lie. Yeah. Well, at least you have really good motivation. The ones not to lie are obvious, but let's do them anyway. Reasons not to lie. Uh, reasons not to lie. It'll help your stance. Um, it'll make you look like a better person, make you look like you have better character. No, 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 no. The reasons... Okay, so if you don't lie, then it looks like you have character. Got it. Okay, number two. If I don't lie, then it'll keep me from getting in trouble. Mm hmm And it'll just help me later in life. Like my parents to trust me. How old are you? Thirteen. You're very smart and very mature. Thank you. Yeah, you're an impressive kid. All right. Um, okay, you guys have something to write with? Uh, I've got something. Yes, yeah, we do. Which one of you has the neatest handwriting? It ain't me. <laughs> Mom, for sure. Okay, Mom, you write it. Okay? Okay. Write reasons to lie, one, two, and three. And then we'll okay. fill it in. Okay, number one. Get out of trouble. Okay. Although Jonathan says it doesn't work real well because then he's in trouble for what he did and he's in trouble for lying. So that's double trouble. Okay, number two, <laughs> to please you and dad. To please the parents. Okay. Number three, look better. You know, I'm general of a big army. I look better. Okay. Okay. Next one. Put it, can you put it next to it? Yes. Okay. Reasons not to lie. Okay. One, two, and three. First one is, let's put them against each other. Uh, to avoid being in trouble for lying. Number two, later in life, there will be benefits. Okay. And your trust, and your trust, he said, and...
their trust. Okay. Three, he'll be, he'll have character, he'll be an honorable man. Okay, hand the paper to him. Jonathan, this is yours. Okay. Each time you're thinking of lying, look at these two columns and make a choice. Seriously. Okay. Now, if you do something bad and you get in trouble for it, take the consequence like a man. Not going to die from it. They'll probably do something stupid like take your phone away for 20 minutes. You know, you know how parents are. Anyway, uh, that way you don't lose your character and your honor. Okay? In terms of pleasing them, that's not your job. Your job is to grow up to be the best man you can be. And they're not always going to be happy with anything in life. (laughs) So, can't please them all the time anyway. What the hell? Third one, to look better, they already don't trust you. Yes. So that's that's a lost one, okay? But every okay. time you're thinking of lying, I want you to carry this in your pocket. So cut it so it just fits the words. Carry it with you. Put it up on your bedpost. Make a decision each time. And see what it feels like to always tell the truth, even when it's scary or uncomfortable. See what it's like. See if it's really so bad. Okay? Okay. Thanks for your call, and you are a special young man. I'm not really worried about you. I love talking to the kids. Kids will get on the line with me are generally fabulous. I go do the right thing.